mean, I always feel more comfortable when I'm wearing something that's just me. I mean, I can't, I can't put something on that's someone else and feel okay in it. I just feel crazy. Okay, I was born in New York City um, at NYU, and we lived on East 8th Street. And I grew up in Summit, New Jersey from first grade on. And my parents bought me the Scapulo books, which I'm still obsessed with. And I memorized them front, you know, cover to cover. I knew all the models' names. I used to make my own magazines. I used to make um, oh, okay. catalogs like right. A, leather boot made in Italy, t you know, $250. You know, I would make the wow. catalogs for hours. <laughs> Were you at and then in about six months, I got promoted to fashion and beauty assistant, then I was fashion and beauty editor. Um, Sassy Magazine is where I, my claim to fame is that I shot Kurt and Courtney for the cover. That's a pretty big it, I think so. I have Kurt, the sweater that Kurt wore, actually. It was my dad. And then I helped create Lucky Magazine. Somebody said, I love your go-go boots to me, but they're not go-go boots. Mm -hmm. They're almost like Victorian sneakers or crazy old ice skates without the blade or something. I had to have them. I mean, I just pictured my whole life in those boots. Like, I, I picture this scenario that I'm going to be doing this, and I'm going to be doing... Uh, but I'm usually in that. Paris or something, which I'm never. I'm not, but <laughs> in my fantasy, that's where I am. And she can make you a custom sweater in, like, two days. She has all these looms. So I asked her to make me this sweater. She had a sample, and she actually... It was really long and big, and she tailored it to me in, like, three days. I do, I do almost feel like my closet is almost like a costume closet at Universal Studios or something because it's in case I'm in this mood or in case I'm in that mood, mm -hmm. I have everything at the ready. No, I'm, I have different moods and so I buy things for those different people. <laughs> so this is the, you know, I have all these Native American things and I'm never going to wear this but I'm obsessed with it. I mean, you know, you're supposed to hang it here. This is something I think that goes on a horse's head or something in Argentina. I got it in Buenos Aires. It makes a nice that somebody painted two stones. This is from uh, Hannah Curlin, too. Someone painted two stones, and then this is like the adult side, and that's wow. the child side. And it's bronze, and this is an emerald. So I love it because people are like, oh, what is that? It's like a hippie necklace. I'm like, it's actually an emerald. Yeah, so I have all my Vicky rings, and like this guy in Buenos Aires makes these. So we went there almost every day and bought them because they were practically free. My father and I have matching skull rings that I had made for us. That's and cute. he never takes his off. I used really? to really be into skulls. It's like a Victorian and it actually yeah. opens. This is my Hermes buckle. I just so it's like modern. I bought because of a fashion shoot in like I think it was Vanton or something mm -hmm. years ago and it was this it was the model Leslie Navajas. Not that I remember. So Leslie Navajas she had her hair up with like a Alice band and she had tons of jewelry like this on, so I had to go. Mm. It's, it weighs a ton. You can actually get a bruise from it. I rarely wear it, but I I love it. I have tiny wrists, and it's really hard to find a giant chunk of turquoise on a small bracelet, and so I found it at Vicky. So I had to have it. Which to me, it's like if you're just wearing nothing and you throw that on, that to me is, you know, and you can never look stupid, I don't think. <laughs> Wearing something beautiful like that. I feel like Stevie Nicks and these boots, I love them. Stevie Nicks or, or maybe like Gene Simmons kind of meet each other <laughs> and made a pair of boots. It was hanging like the minute I walked in and it was screaming my name and it's tiny and it almost looks like come to garrison me. It's amazing. Like, yeah. I mean, uh -huh. look at the back. Yeah, it's I mean, absolutely it's like amazing. Somebody, it's like somebody made it for me, so I had, you know, I had no choice. I, love I was it. not in the market, but that's always when you find the best things. So. I love perfume and I love layering it always layer with patchouli. One little dot of patchouli, I learned my lesson the hard way years ago. I used to just put patchouli everywhere and go to the deli um, and the guy would call, he would be like, hello patchouli. And I thought, oh, because you can't really smell yourself. So now I just put one teeny dot drop and then I have things like, like I'm a sucker for any kind of like, you know, oil. He's, Bob Dylan is my um, style idol and always has been and I always think, what would he, like these boots, he would wear these boots, he would wear these pants. Almost every time I get dressed, I think, what would Bob do?